Hello guys, welcome again to today's session. We are going to continue. I don't want to take too much time. We are going to continue from where we ended the other time on um, final account preparation for Sol, who happens to be a Sol trader. And we, we saw up to the profit and loss section of which we could say uh, due to time, we couldn't continue with the balance sheet or the statement of financial position. So we are going to continue from there as we did up to the profit and loss section to derive our net profit. So for the net profit, we take that one and go and prepare our statement of financial position or balance sheet for Seoul. So we are going to look at that. And before that, if you haven't watched that tutorial, please, I will urge you to go to the description box. The link to that tutorial will be there. Then you check that one before you continue from here to get a better understanding, right? So we go quickly to that and we had a question of which I read the question and you can also check from the question in that particular or that same tutorial, you get a question there. I don't want to take my time today, we are going to spend a few minutes, right? So we are going to look at the balance sheet of which we know the balance sheet, the accounting in question which we have the assets equal to our capital plus liabilities liabilities right so this happens to be the accounting equation of which we use this in preparation of the balance sheet or statement of financial position so we have the assets and uh, asset being equal to capital plus liabilities so we are going to look at how we spread this in the preparation of balance sheet. Now, we look at the asset side. We normally put the asset side here. So we have fixed assets or the non-current assets. Fixed assets. We underline that neatly. Then we look at, when we, when we, we look at the assets, we have the cost of the assets. So we have cost of the assets. Then, because we provide all the assets depreciates, we look at the accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation. Now, when you, you have the cost of the assets, and you take away the accumulated depreciation of, of which um, you sum up the provision for depreciation, or the depreciation for the years that you have spread over the asset. When you take the accumulated depreciation from the cost, you will be left with the net book value or the written down value. So we have the net book value of the asset or the NDV of the asset. So which are the assets or which are the non-current assets that we had in the question? We had freehold property. So we have freehold property and the cost was 180,000 180,000 so we we put the currency also in Ghana cities in Ghana cities right so now we have 180,000 as the cost of this freehold property when we look at the question, there was a provision for depreciation of freehold property, 45,000 in the trial balance. This means that this is the previous or the accumulated depreciation balance from previous accounting period. Now, we are going to consider this in the preparation of the balance sheet or the statement of financial position. So we have 45,000 as balance for provision on this particular asset. So we have freehold property. The balance depreciation on that is 45,000. Right. So we put this one down. Then in the question we are to provide 4% depreciation on straight line method for this particular asset. So we know that for straight line method of depreciation the amount that will be charged in the first year 
will be the same amount that will be charged throughout the year that will be spread over the asset. So if you are charging 4%, meaning the rate is fixed, 4% will be charged on the cost for each of the years that will be spread over the year. Right. So we are going to look at, and the cost there is 180,000. Now, we have this 45,000 down here. Then we look at 4%, 4%, 0.04, multiplying 180,000, and that will give us Seven thousand two hundred. So that will give us seven thousand two hundred. Seven thousand two hundred Ghana cities. So to get the accumulated depreciation for this particular asset, you sum up the balance from the previous period with this current years under review. Then you get a, a, the total depreciation up to date. So we are 45,000 plus 7,200, and that is giving us 52,200. So this is the total depreciation or the accumulated depreciation up to this year by preparing the st statement of financial position. So we have 52,200 Ghana cities. Right. So the, to get your net book value, we know we did that the accumulated depreciation from the cost of the asset. Then we have the net book value, and deducting that, we have 127,127,800 Ghana cities. So we are done with freehold property. Then we look at the next asset, which was plant and machinery, or plant and machinery at cost. So we have plants, and machinery. Plant and machinery. And the cost was the cost was ninety-seven thousand. So we have ninety-seven thousand. To get the accumulated depreciation, we look in the we look through the um, the trial balance if there was any provision or any balance from the previous period. We have provision for depreciation on plant and machinery to be 53,000. So we have plant and machinery. We have balance of, um, oh, sorry, provision for depreciation. Balance to be fifty three thousand. We have the provision for depreciation balance to be fifty three thousand, and the cost is ninety seven thousand. Please take notes. The cost is ninety seven thousand. Now, when we go through the additional information, we have. Plant and machinery at 15% per annum on reducing balance method. So we are going to provide 15% on the as provision for depreciation on plant and machinery on reducing balance method. And I have already explained how you go by reducing balance method of providing depreciation on a fixed asset or a non-current asset. What we are going to do is this is the cost of the asset. So we are going to take away your accumulated depreciation. Then, so we have 97,000 minus 53,000. So 97 minus 53,000. And that is giving us, 97 minus 53 will give us 44. 44,000. So this 44,000 that you have is this amount that you are going to calculate 15% on. So that is multiplied by 0.15 and that is giving us 6,600. So 44,000 multiplied 0.15 and it's giving us 
giving us 6,600. So if you want your accumulated depreciation, you have your balance from the previous period, then you add this year's provision for depreciation and have your accumulated depreciation. So when you add up these two, you have 59,600. So the accumulated depreciation up to this year is 59,59,600. And when we deduct this from this, the net book value as at this year, it will give us 37,400. So we have 37,400 Ghana cities. Then we look at the last fixed asset or the non-current asset, which is motor vehicles. So we have motor vehicles, which also the cost was 41,000. We have 41,000. And the provision for depreciation in the question was 27,000. So we have motor vehicle. And the provision was provision was uh, twenty-seven thousand, twenty-seven thousand. So this twenty-seven thousand, you will deduct from the cost, which is forty-one thousand. Forty-one thousand. When we deduct this forty-one thousand minus twenty-seven. 27,000, we will be left with 14,000. And this 14,000, as we have as the current net book value for this year, then we calculate the this year's provision for depreciation rate on this. So we are going to calculate, and I think we are to um, provide 30%, which is so we have 14,000 multiply 0. Point Three, and that is giving us 0 0.3 multiplying this and that is giving us 4,200 0 0.3 multiply 14,000 that is giving us 4,200 right so if you want this year's balance for um, the accumulated depreciation we are going to sum up this 27,000 which is the previous balance with this year's provision for depreciation, then we have our accumulated depreciation. So that will be given. That will give us thirty-one thousand two hundred. Thirty-one thousand two hundred. So we go there and put our accumulated depreciation to be thirty-one thousand two hundred. Now, if we want the net book value, we just deduct the accumulated depreciation from the cost, and that will be. 9,800. So we have 9,800. Right. So these are only the fixed assets that we have or the non current assets that we have. So we can close the cost side, then also the depreciation side. Then we leave the net book value unclosed. So we can total up the cost side and we have 318, 31. 8,000, 318,000 Ghana cities. We have the accumulated depreciation to be 143,000 143,000 Ghana cities. Then the net book value for the three assets is 175,000 175, Ghana cities. So we have 175,000 Ghana cities. Then we look at our current assets. Our current assets, which we have our stock. The stock is the closing stock that we have in the additional information, and the stock we have to be 58,000. So we have 58,000. Then we look at trade debtors. Trade debtors. 
trade debtors. We had a trade debtors to be 34,600. I put it here because there is adjustment that we need to do on this. 34,600 as trade debtors amount. Right. So this 34,600, in the additional information, point three, is, it, it says that it included in trade debtors is a bad debt of 1,800. So this bad debt of 1,800 will be, will be taken from this amount because it said this 34,600 is included a bad debt amount which we have already written off in the profit and loss account. So we are going to take it from there. So we have bad debts to be 1,800. So we deduct that. Then also we look at the provision for doubtful debts. So we quickly go into the calculation of the provision or the workings on how we get a provision for doubtful debts. We look at the same point, it says that the provision for doubtful debt is to be 5% of trade debtors. So we have trade debtors to be equal to 34,600. And we know in calculating for provision for doubtful debt, you have to take away your bad debt from the debtor's amount, then you calculate the rate on the balance. So we have less bad debts, which is 1,800. Right, so we have 34, 3, 4, 600 minus 1,800, and that is given as 32, 800 and this 32 800 multiplying 32 800 multiply 0 0.05 which is 5 percent will give you 1640 so this multiplied provision for doubtful debts that will be 0 0.05 multiply this at the balance of three debtors which will give us 1640 1640 Ghana cities. So we, we are going to less this also from that because we have already provided that in the profit and loss account. So we have provision for doubtful debts. Provision for doubtful debts and we have 1640. Right. So this you take away all from the debtors or the trade debtors amount, then you have your balance to be 31160. So when you take this and that from that, you have 31160. 31,160 Ghana cities. Now, we go into the next one, which is bank. We have the bank figure to be 11,000. 374 so we add our bank amount we have the 31 11374 so we have 11374 then also we look at the next one which is we have prepaid expense if we make any payment in um, expenses prepaid expenses when we are preparing the final act and the statement of financial position or the balance sheet, we need to consider those expenses paid in advance as well as our current assets. So we have prepaid expense. And we have it to be, in the question, we have it to be rent, of which we paid rent. Rent expense paid in advance. Rent expense in advance. 
and the amount was 2,000. So we have 2,000 as rent paid in advance. Then if there was any receivable owings, you classify that also as what? As your current asset. And there was a rent receivables owing of 280 Ghana CD. So we have rent receivables owings. Please try and understand the difference of these two things. If you have any prepaid expense, you classify that as what? As your current asset in preparation of the balance sheet. And if there is any receivables or income owings, that one also you classify them as your current asset and you treat them as such. Right. So we have that one to be also 280 Ghana cities. So 280 Ghana cities. So when we sum up that we don't have any other current asset, we when we sum up that we have 102814. If I'm right. Right. So we have one zero two eight one four now we go to the capital and liability side so we have our capital to be the capital to be uh twenty two hundred thousand so we have in Ghana cities as well in Ghana cities so the capital to be two hundred thousand 200,000 Ghana cities. Then, if there is any drawings in the period, we are going to take, a, take them away from the capital amounts. Then we look at the question, there was a total drawings of, there was drawings in the question 28. So the drawings, we have one in the, Trial balance which was two eight seven nine seven two eight seven nine seven. Then in the additional information there was a drawings balance of two four hundred. So we have two four zero zero and the additional information drawings always. So the drawings, there was 2,400 which we need to also add in the drawings amount or to the drawings amount and with that we are going to have three one, three one, one nine seven. So that will give us 31197. Right, so we have less drawings. When we take away drawings, we have three one one nine seven. When we deduct that, we are going to we are going to be left with the amount, and we add our net profit. So when we, we take away that, we have two hundred thousand minus three one one nine seven. And that is giving us one six eight one six eight eight zero three. So we have one six eight eight zero three. Then we add our net profit. So we have our net profit of which we had it from the profit and loss section. So that is why I'm adding you to watch that tutorial before you come here because you may be wondering how we got the net profit figure. So that is 102671. 102671. And when we add that, we have a total of 168.8, plus 102671. That is 271. We have 271.414. Right, so when we add our net profit to the balance of the capital, we have 271, 271, 414. This is the new capital 
balance that we have in uh, or against the next accounting period. Right. Then we look at our current liability. So we have current liabilities. So current liabilities, we have trade creditors. We have trade creditors. Trade creditors to be 5720. 5720. 5720. 5720. 5720. 5720. 5720. 5720. 5720. 5720. 5720. But not paid for, we are going to consider them in also as what our current liability. So we have we have heating and lighting expenses owings of 400 Ghana cities, and we have stationary owings to be 220. So we have expenses owings. We have uh, heating. And lighting, heating and lighting, and the amount is 400 Ghana cities. Then we have stationary, stationary also to be 220, two, 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 zero. Right. When you sum up this, also. We have 6340, 6340 as our total current liabilities. So we are going to sum up this and that. Then we sum up the total of the total of the fixed asset or the non-current asset and the current asset also if we have the same balance. And as you know, in accounting, anything that ends with balance it must balance at the end of preparing it. So what we are going to do is we are going to sum up this 175,000 as the total for fixed assets and 10, uh, 102,814 as the total for current assets. And when we sum up, we have 277814. So we have the total to be two. Seven seven eight one four for the total assets. This is the total assets, and remember, I have put down the accounting equation, which we know the assets is equal to capital plus liabilities. Right. So now we have our assets. The total asset to be two. Seven seven eight one four. Let's see. We have the cap the um, capital to be two seven one four one two seven one four one four. Right. So the liabilities also we have six three four zero. Now if we sum up this two seven one. 414 and 6340 and that is also giving us same amount we have same amount to be 277814 277814 this means that the balance sheet has balanced exactly without any discrepancies in the in the workings now when we look at this we can see that or we can say that it has balance we have two seven seven eight one four equals two seven seven eight one four right so this means that all the working that we have done is accurate and perfect 
Right. So that is how you go by preparing your fi uh, your final account. So far, the trading section and the profit and loss account is concerned. And after that, with the help with the help of your net profit derived from the P and L account, you continue with the balance sheet or the statement of financial position. So that is all that we have for that particular question relates to. So, who happens to be a, a sole trader and we are asked to prepare the final account for this particular sole trader. So, I will leave you here and until we meet again, I, I think in our next tutorial, we are going to look at the BRS or the Bank Reconciliation Statement. So, please stay tuned and don't miss out any of the tutorial because I want us to move together and please remember to share to anyone whom you think it might help as well. Have a nice day and stay safe.